It's okay, don't worry about it. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, it's okay, don't worry. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Stop saying I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. Why do you say sorry so much? I'm so sorry. Stop apologizing. Stop saying sorry. Just stop apologizing. Sorry. Oops, I did it again. Sorry, can I get some sub yet? Sorry, Rachel, can I get a plate? Can I get a pet? Sorry, I have to pee. Sorry, my head hurts. Sorry, this is taking so long. Sorry, I forgot. Sorry, I need to take this call. Oh, sorry, chair. I tripped over you. Sorry, I forgot my glasses. Are you a serial apologizer? Are you guilty for over apologizing? Do you apologize for apologizing? Guilty? Me. Hi, I'm Jules and welcome to Jules Tea channel. Today, we're going to talk about don't say sorry. It's the most well-used word in most conversations. Sorry! I'm going to walk you through steps on how not to say sorry and how to address the situation so that you can walk away from the conversation with a positive note with the dynamics of the situation change so you can have better conversations with people around you you're gonna discover ways on how to not use the word sorry and instead use other techniques to turn around the situation so that your audience will appreciate what you have done and they will walk away feeling appreciated and happy and you change the dynamic of the conversation saying sorry has become a habit for many people including me until people get so crazy why do you apologize so much it drives people crazy people call me miss sorry instead of miss jules saying sorry has become a habit for many people an average person says sorry eight times a day one in eight person says sorry 20 times a day you say sorry for things that you're not responsible you say sorry for things that it's not your mistake you say sorry for things that you didn't do wrong we say it when it's not necessary just say for the sake of saying it have you realized that did it ever occur to you that saying sorry too much can become meaningless after a while people would take you for granted people think that you actually don't mean what you mean why do people say sorry it's because they maybe they feel not worthy of themselves they feel they're not good enough you want to avoid confrontation at all costs you want to maintain world peace you are the peacemaker is that how you see yourself? In fact, do you realize that makes you a people pleaser? It gives a sign to people that you are insecure and you are allowing other people to take advantage of you. And it can become dangerous because there are people out there who are looking for victims like this just to take advantage of their situation. So what should you do? Let's get started. So first of all, is to identify what triggers you to say the word sorry the most. List down 10 things that will trigger you to say sorry. So it could be your colleagues, it could be your boss, it could be your neighbor, it could be someone at the market, it could be someone at the mall, or your best friend, your girlfriends, your children. So think, have a deep thought about it. What triggers you to say sorry the most? And step number two is consciously replace the word sorry with the word thank you. When you 
have the impulse to say sorry. Say thank you instead. And you find the difference is that you will gradually reduce the word sorry. Thank you for waiting for me. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for waiting in line. Thank you for bringing this up to me. Thank you for your time here. When you have a healthy relationship with yourself, then is it only possible for you to have a healthy relationship with other people. When you love yourself first, and when you put yourself first, then is it possible for you to take care of others. So instead of saying, I'm sorry for taking so much of your time, just say, thank you for spending the time with me. Instead of saying, I'm sorry I can't go to your party tonight, say this, Thank you for your invitation, I would love to go. But I had already made some plans for tonight, maybe next time. So you see that? It changes the conversation to something positive. So instead of saying, I'm sorry to ask you a favour, you can say thank you for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Did you notice the difference of dynamics? That you are actually praising someone else, you actually complimenting the other person and it changes the dynamics of the situation. You actually acknowledge, you recognize and you thank them and you acknowledging them for the kindness that they have shown and when you say that, what happens? The cloud is just lifted off and the irritation is dispelled completely. So imagine if you are working at Starbucks and there's this long queue of people there and you know the, the last customer was really holding up the line and there's this really angry group of customers lining up behind. So when the angry customer comes up to you with this horrible mood, so rather than apologizing, I'm so sorry for making you wait, I'm so sorry that it took so long, just say thank you for waiting, thank you for your understanding. So it ends the interaction on a good note and your customer actually leaves the place feeling appreciated. There are times that you need to apologize for something. So there are other words that you can use to replace the word sorry. If it's a small mistake, then use words such as Oops, my bad. Oops, please don't be mad at me. Oops, that's my fault. This applies when it's a small mistake. But you, if you did really a big mistake, it happens to all of us all the time. We are not perfect. Everybody makes mistakes in their life. Then what do you do? First, you acknowledge the situation. Say things like, you have a right to be upset. When you see the situation is really emotional and maybe this conversation can be taken another day when things cool down, then what you can say is, I promise we're going to talk about it tomorrow once we get our head cleared up on the situation. Or you can say, I want to work this out. Let's talk tomorrow. Or if you perhaps lost something that was very valuable to the other person, then you can say, oh, how stupid, how careless, how thoughtless of me. This is my fault. I should have lost your favorite book. I should have done something earlier. I should have made a different decision on this. I should have made better choices in life. I owe you an apology for the mistake I made last week. So be direct, be specific. If you just say sorry and leave, then it doesn't sound very sincere at all especially if it's a huge mistake. Please accept my sincerest apologies. I truly regret. Forgive me, I might have said something impolite. Pardon me, I didn't mean to offend you when I said this about you. I take full responsibility about what happened at school today. I'm embarrassed about what happened. I will talk to this person after this. I sincerely regret my drunk behavior yesterday. So if you want to be taken seriously, stop saying sorry. Shift the way on how you communicate. Use better choices of words. Try saying thank you more often. We never know that huge difference it makes to your conversation. When you introduce more of vocabulary to your speech, then you realize that your communication, your apology will sound more sincere and it will bring a positive impact to you and the people around you. 
so i hope that you enjoyed my sharing if you love this video please give a thumbs up and press subscribe please share with me your experience of using these tips and how it help you in your communication when you're trying to apologize i hope to see you soon in my next video thank you